Okay, folks, this will be a challenge. Right, hopefully it'll come up a treat if I can make it that way. So let's see what we have to demo with when we get around to it. I don't know how big to make this one. Okay, let's see what this is. It is, well, it's a ever-ready heavy-duty battery. The old heavy-duty ones, this horrible non-alkaline shit. Carbon batteries, I think they'd be called. I think they're the old carbon, cheap and nasty shit batteries that just don't last even though they they're called heavy duty or some of them are called super heavy duty in general purpose i haven't seen those ones but these are, are probably not terribly popular anyway and that's turned up stupid i think we'll just pull that one off because that just was a really bad misfire if ever there was i'm trying to line it up with the seam trying to get it there and try and get it to roll nicely if i can Being so narrow, they're going to be really difficult to control. Hopefully that, that going off course has created something nice. Yeah, that's come up looking quite interesting. I think this one looks really quite good actually. It looks a bit, it looks a bit funny, but it looks like it's got quirkiness about it that, you know, a bit very uh, candid. It's a very candid looking piece. I'm going to have to th not throw these in the general b rubbish. I'm going to throw them in the e-waste. I'm going to take, get them taken away with the e-waste. But that's turned up looking quite interesting. I might have to... I'm just thinking, um, enlarging off the top of it there because it looks a bit like it needs a bit of fill in. So I'm just going to put it on the edge. They're really difficult things to work with, these cylindrical shapes, especially ones like this, like this battery. Yeah, that's better. That's fitting the page a lot nicer now, at the top there. I do think it looks a bit dry. It needs to be a bit more wet, so I need to sort of put pump up the enlight the not enlargement the the darken it a bit. And I think we can make we can safely make two copies of this. I don't know if it's really going to look that good made as a mirror image um, looks a bit minimalist but it has a quirkiness about it that I like a sort of very arty farty look to it if you must say if I must say so myself and that looks a lot nicer the color in that is a lot more saturated 
So I'm just going to throw that one aside. And these two are going to be my two parts of this mirror image. Unfortunately, the sun is cracking through and it's coming here and it's going to probably interfere with the presentation of this, which I really hate. Which I hate about shooting in this kind of light, this kind of irregular, un unpredictable um, light. So, but I'm really missing a lost partner and I'm trying to get on the six o'clock news to find him. His name is Luigi and he's really missed. I really miss him and I really need to get in touch. He's into photocopier art as well and other photocopier related stuff including designing a, a new version of the photocopier which is lines up with my passion for that as well. So we really need to get together and get the past and put it behind us. I did some stupid things when I was young and I'm now paying the price and so is he. So I had to get in touch and find him. So anyway, let's just put this piece together. One there and this one here. There you have it. Ever any heavy duty reimagined? I do one. I was wondering if maybe I should do a switcheroo, but I think this is as good as it gets. Yeah, gotta go.